What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy. You guys are watching Warfels Morris. This week's video is going to be killer. It's going to be awesome. I just got back from the Battlefield Reptile Expo and I had a blast. Got to meet some awesome people, some great supporters of mine, and people that I consider friends. Got to hang out with Chris from BNS Reptilia. Got to hang out with Phil from Finger Snakes, which is actually, Phil's the one that actually invited me down to actually like sit behind his stand and just hang out, get a, just, you know, just a hint of what it's like to actually vend a show, because I have yet to vend a show, but I can tell you what, after today, I can't wait. It's, it was just such a great experience. Thank you, Phil, for inviting me down. I had a great time. And also, Matt, from the Bull Python Project, thank you very much for, like, sitting down. I mean, we had great conversations. I had great conversations with everybody down there, and, it was a great time. Thank you everyone for all the support and thank you for just making today an awesome experience because I never had, I was never on the other side of the table. I was always out in the aisles. So this was just a great experience today. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about what I think you need to remember to take to uh, Better Reptile Show. Today's episode is sponsored by GP Snakes. Gershon is a ball python breeder that is working very heavy in the albino clown project along with Enchi. And on top of his amazing animals that he's producing and that he's working with, he also runs a YouTube channel and he runs an awesome, awesome podcast called Under a Thousand Podcast. He gets reptile breeders in and just kind of gets lets everybody get to know these individuals and you know he helps them get some exposure he also has an amazing series called next up which is where he gets breeders that are just starting their break in youtube kind of gets them some exposure helps them get through that uh, that initial grind and helps introduce his subs to these individuals to help the new people get some traction and it's a great thing that he does gershon's a great person can't say enough good things about him. So make sure everybody, you check out all the links for GP Snakes and Gershon down in the description and check him out because he's doing amazing things and blazing the trail. Thank you, Gershon. So let's get into this. So let's start off with probably probably the, one of the most forgotten things because I forgot it. Don't forget to take a chair. I know nine times out of 10, you're going to be standing, but just for that, you know, that slight instance, if your feet start killing you, your back starts aching because this guy right here, my feet started aching and Phil had my back. He actually brought a chair. I, he brought a couple chairs, but uh, he was kind enough to let me use his one chair and just kind of take a load off because my feet started killing me today. Uh, he, he, he stood like all day. I don't know how anybody like stands all day like that, but I had to sit down for a little bit because my feet and my back started aching pretty good. So don't forget a chair. Very, very important. Even though you're probably not going to use it a whole lot because you're going to be up talking to customers, which is what you should be doing instead of sitting. But every once in a while, I think everybody's got to sit, just take a load off their feet and, you know, sit back if you get a slow moment to do so. Next thing not to forget it's a power cord. I never would have thought of a power cord, but it's 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 very important. You gotta have something to plug your lights into if you have lights for your display cases. You also might need power, uh, power supply if you have like heat mats, like a heat tape system going through your, uh, your display cases. So that's all, you know, a power cord, something I never thought of, but make sure you have a decent length extension cord because you don't know where your plug-in's gonna be at. But it's a must. I never would have thought of it. Phil, Phil had his crap together. And man, like I said, I learned so much today. So definitely have a power cord to get to your power source. Because you're going to need it for either lights. You have a heating system for your display stands. You're going to need a power source of some way, shape, or form. So have a power cord. The next thing. You probably were not going to really... I mean... Yeah, if you're selling snakes, you're going to have people, you know, buying snakes, hopefully. So you have something to put them in. And this is where I thought it was ingenious. Like, I just have regular old, I'll show you here. Like, I just have regular old, non-fancy white snake bags. Not, I mean, 
It's not that great. I mean, it, it, they're nice, don't get me wrong, they're nice snake bags, but not fancy. Now, however, Phil at Finger Snakes has these awesome, awesome, very nice, high quality bags. His logo on it and let me tell you this stands out if you're buying from somebody it shows that you you know like i mean you're thinking about this the bag the snake's going to be in for only a couple hours that's showing some dedication that's showing that you care that there is a big thing to stand out that people will see and notice and it's the small things that count in my opinion and that there it, it, it's one thing that stands out so awesome job phil because now I want to get some custom snake bags. The next thing to think about is you're like, you're, I don't want to say you're marketing because it's really not marketing. But next thing you want to think about is like business cards, which I don't have business cards. Phil have business cards. Phil is on top of it. Anyway, business cards, stickers are also a great way to get your name out because everybody wants to get stickers. And Phil actually brought up a good point this weekend or today that stickers actually might be a little bit better than business cards for the fact of business cards, you know, you get them, you put them in your wallet and you kind of forget about them. You throw them in a stack of other business cards that you probably not really ever going to look at again. It's something I never thought of. I mean, I still want to have business cards. I think they're still a wise investment to an extent, but with the stickers, people are going to get the stickers. They're going to place them somewhere where you, they're going to see them because they're stickers. I mean, you know, you're going to put them up where you can see them. So it was a, it was a little bit of a mind opening thing, a thought process there for me to think of. And I'm happy I have my stickers. I'm going to be getting more in different sizes eventually here, but you know, stickers, business cards, definitely the like, just the little knickknack things to throw in with your purchases to say thank you to the people, help them remember your name. So that way, hopefully they come back again. Another thing to think about is a tablecloth. Now, the, the tablecloth I, I would have thought of as well. Um, you gotta cover up that ugly table that you're, you know, you're sitting on. Um, you gotta make it look nice. A nice, clean, presentable table, like display will attract more people. People are more likely to hang around your stand and look at your animals. And the more people you have hanging around your animals, the more people that you're likely to attract to your stand because everybody's gonna be like, well, I want to see what that guy has. And the tablecloth helps to add to that factor of cleanliness and the aesthetics of your whole stand. So definitely make sure you have a nice presentable tablecloth. Something with your logo on it is probably even more better or more better. Something with your logo is probably even better than just a normal tablecloth. But as long as it's nice, tidy, clean, and it works for you, tablecloth, just do it. Another thing to think of, and this really isn't a must, but it does add the wow factor, is like a big banner, you know? Put up behind you there, you know, big banner. Your logo definitely draws attention to you. It says, look at this guy. Um, eventually, when I start vending, I probably will get a banner of at some point, but that's a ways down the road. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But it definitely adds to the wow factor. It adds a little bit of I don't know, professionalism, I guess you could say but it definitely is a neat touch and does draw more attention to your stand as well. The next big thing, I think it's probably the most important out of it all is your display stands. You can have nice acrylic stuff, you know, that you bought from like ARS or, you know, anybody else that makes the uh, acrylic display cases, or you can make something homemade. And Phil has a nice, very, very awesome homemade set for his display cases, very, very smart way that man did it too. I mean, it, he was thinking this out and Phil, thank you for saying that. I can kind of half copy your design because I'm going to take you up on it. And like I said, I'm going to only do it with black PVC because, you know, I got to go with the black and the green, you know, for the logo stuff. But anyway, his design was ingenious. His display stands looked like nothing else at that expo. And that alone stands out you know little things that no one else has is going to stand out and people are going to you know comment they're going to it's going to draw them to your stand because they're going to be curious as to what's going on you know what do you have in there and you know it, it's just it adds to the attraction factor 
there, I know people have a couple different things as, you know, as usual, you know, some people have different bottoms for their display stands, um, different types of like bedding for the animals to be in. But, you know, having something that stands out that separates you from everybody else there is to me a big key factor, help you stand out and people notice you more. So having an awesome display stand, a clean display stand and Something that shows that you care, and that's 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 probably the most important thing for you to have is just a very nice display setup because it's going to draw people to you, and it allows them to see your animals better. Something with nice lighting. Phil, Phil just completely knocked his out of the park the way he designed it, and with the lighting aspect, it was simple, easy, resourceful, and it was just awesome. So thanks, Phil, for the great idea on that displays uh, case. That's basically the most important things that I noticed that you should probably have to go to vend like a reptile expo. You might want to take snacks or f drinks and stuff like that because sometimes the food's a little pricey, but it also helps alleviate you having to leave your stand to go get food because you might not have someone there to you know watch your stand or anything. So you might want to think about taking food and drinks, and, you know, snacks, but all in all, that is my list of the most important things I think that you need to bring if you're going to vend a reptile show. Don't forget, oh, hand sanitizer. Don't forget the hand sanitizer. Definitely bring hand sanitizer. Um, you know, you're going to want everybody kind of, you know, just a little wash up with the hand sanitizer before they're touching your animals. But anyway, that there is the big key factors. You know, power cords, your tablecloth your nice display stands, business cards and stickers, you know, all that stuff, it all adds up to a very thought out and clean and presentable stand, which will in turn draw people. So hope this video helped you guys. Thank you, Phil, for inviting me out to the Reptile Expo. I had a great time uh, just hanging out, getting to know you even better and just chilling and getting that experience of what it's like to be on the vendor side of the uh, table there. And on the top of it, another good thing I learned as well, I don't, I don't want to say I learned it, but when you're behind the table, you meet so many different people. You build so many relations and have such great conversations with just everybody there. It was so awesome to talk to all the people we got to talk to and me. It was just a great experience. I can't wait to bend my own stand at a reptile expo. So hope this video helped everybody. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video, if it was helpful. If there's anything you can think of that I might have forgot to put in this list of my, what I think is important, but I think I kind of nailed, you know, all the key things. So I'll catch you next time, everybody. Take it easy. Later.